Hey there, and welcome back, and if you're new, welcome in. So, for today's video, I'm pretty much going to be raising, as you can see, Farina. So, yeah, let's just get right into it. Oh, but beforehand, I wanted to let you guys know that I am currently at 136 subscribers. I really appreciate the support. It really means a lot. But, now, on to the video. So, pretty much... A few things first. One, I was able to manage. I managed to swipe her weapon. However, I will not be using it because for two things. One, I don't have the artifact, uh, the materials to raise it. And then two, technically, I want to try out Favonius first. Obviously, like the free to play options, which honestly, I I'm pretty sure Favonius is the better one compared to Sacrificial. Because what sacrificial is her skill, but then technically her skill has like a proper cooldown, so you don't really have to worry about it. So hence the whole Pavonius thing is better. Oh, switch. Whoops. <clears throat> there we go. As for artifact sets, she has a few technically, but I plan to give her the actual set. Uh, where is it? I think it was this one, right? Yes, yeah, this one. It was a plume. That ooh, actually. Oh, the other one. Oh wait, the other one's already leveled up though. It's a pretty good one too. Uh, with her, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll do this later. As for constellations, she's at C zero. Talents up to be going with eight and eight. Maybe I'll rise this normal attack. Probably not. But first I'm gonna prioritize the skill, then the burst, and then we'll go with normal attacks. Maybe. That's a maybe. But for now, let's just get right into it. I'm really And with that, she's level 80. Eventually, I'll raise her up because I saw a comment. It was, it was like technically the higher the HP is, the better. So you usually want to have them at least higher level, or at least higher than 80 at the minimum. So I was like, honestly, they're not wrong there. So for now, we'll go with the talents. And with that, the skills leveled up. Now we go to the burst. And with that, technically we have the burst. Ah, uh, for now I'm gonna ignore the normal attack. As for the cons constellations artifacts, I'm gonna be giving her. So with that, we have her artifact set. So we're gonna be going with the four piece set. It's not the very best, but it. It, it works for now. So we got <clears throat> HP, obviously, attack, obviously. As for the goblet, <clears throat> apologies. Uh, we have HP percent, the goblet, oh, my bad, sands, we have HP percent. Goblet, we have hydro damage. And for the circlet, we have crit rate, which honestly, technically, I want to least a good amount of crit rate energy recharge so overall stats we got 28 28,212 1,000 pretty much 1179 for attack 797 for defense elemental mastery we got 63 energy recharge we have 190.8 as for hydro damage we have 46.6 and that's about it. So, let's just get right into it. Also, like I mentioned, weapon, we're gonna go with Favonius eventually, when, later down the line, once I have. Technically, I wanna switch this out. What's the ratio? Mm, it's pretty good, but I want the other one. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. So I'm gonna use her pretty much as a battery more than anything else. So for attack we have one, two, three, four. Yeah, 
for normal attacks and for skill we have technically oh although there's a little hidden ability if you do a charge attack right now she is i forgot which i forgot what they're called but right now her skill is affected by this so right now her skill technically will be the what the three little animals because <clears throat> right here her skill with osia so pretty much osia is like an aoe bubble pretty much uh this one right so the osia pretty much is more of a healing type skill wow the what is it numa i believe that's how you say it it's pretty much when you summon three different members which is i think a crab a seahorse and it was another animal i forgot what it's called but pretty much overall those three animals will, will be doing damage like the jellyfish is, or the seahorse <clears throat> so it's a seahorse a crab and i think it was a jellyfish but i could be wrong though but let's just get right into this also for her burst technically it does like a AOE attack. I'm not sure if it does any bonuses. I have yet to technically check, which I will do right now actually. Uh, it does AOE damage based on her max HP and point will grant of her max HP recharges. So pretty much I'll have to see how it is. But first things first though, so, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? We're going to need a team to work with. I'm gonna go with the vape team. Where's Benny? Gonna be epic. There we go. Oh yeah, but I'm got. In order to change her little abilities, technically, you'd have to do a charge attack. And right there, now, her skill will be doing something different. And if you do a charge attack again, you go back to the other ability. Which honestly, pretty cool. Let me just. Peace. Hmm. Now I'm gonna be using her skill. Let's pop that. Oh, cool fact is, her ability technically has the perfect cooldown. Ooh, that's E. Okay. Because what? <clears throat> From what I hear is what? The duration lasts her 30 seconds, but her cooldown is 20 seconds. So she literally has 100% uptime, which is honestly. <coughs> sorry about that. Honestly, pretty cool. So that's one of the cool things about her. Oh, she took two hits. <clears throat> there we go. And for her. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. I want to see what these guys do. Pretty much you see these little bubbles around the screen. That's pretty much like a little thing. It's like, how do I put it? I'd have to show you to pretty much be able to do it. Oh, hold on, give me one second. I'll give him another shot. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, after he 
heals. I want to see how fast. I might want another healer. Oh, there, buddy. I, I, I can't. You know what? Hold on. Let me try something. Because I know you need healers. Alright, so pretty much for this team, I'm going to be seeing how she does with, like, a Bloom team. Because, honestly, when it comes to Blooms, Nahida's the only Dendro character you need. Obviously, there's going to be Farina, and then technically we have Kokomine and Chi Chi for healings. So currently her... Jeez. Her current HP now is 31k. How much was it last time? It was, like, 37 or 38. It increased by, like, 3k, maybe? And crit rating crit damage is about to save. But let's give it another shot. <clears throat> this time as a bloom team. I want to see how much damage she's capable of doing now. And then what? The more she does more damage based on Based on the max HP that they, the team has. Oh. Okay, this time I should be able to do the burst. Boom. Perfect. Boom. 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 Okay. Oh, per oh, oh this is the few times I ah, at times like this I'm annoyed that Masanori is so squishy. It sucks, man. It's like they're doing good damage. Don't get me wrong. But they're ah, I can't do the full showcase if obviously they're not living. <clears throat> Would you not? I want to show her ability, but I can't also. Whenever she's in this state, she does this little ability, which in contrast heals the current character on field, I believe. Which honestly is pretty cool, not gonna lie. So, at least with Farina that I know of, and from what I've heard, you usually want at least one healer, if not maybe two good healers. And like I mentioned, the cooldown's the same, so you can just boom, make another one. It's like it's bro, her skill is her main source of damage, which is pretty cool. Which is probably why what the golden troop is her best in slot. And on top of that, what it further increases whenever the character's not on field. When not on field, elemental damage will then further increased will be further increased by 23 25% that's crazy but uh, she does good damage from what I've seen and keep in mind this damage is only with Favonius she, ha she has technically not have her other weapon which on top of that will Further increase her elemental damage or skill damage, and on top of that, will also increase her HP. And on top of that, her HP can then increase again, which is a max stack of two for six seconds. So it's like what 14 to 18 percent increase in her HP, which majority of her damage is based on HP, which is crazy. But Pavonius overall does extremely good still, so it's like. We'll have to wait and see what's up. But honestly, that's about it. So, if you ended up enjoying this somewhat raising video and learning education, quote unquote educational video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And until next time. Also, let's see if we can make it at 140 before the end of the month. But that's about it. So, until next time. Later, nerds. Take care.